can't see it, but it comes over here. Or we're set up to take a shot down this way too. We got the heater going. Yep. It's about minus 16 this morning. Yeah. Plus wind chill. Otis, it's Otis. <laughs> I swear, I swear, it's Otis. He looked. <laughs> so, what happened at the last spot? At the last spot, there were, we didn't really see. When was, when was the last time you were videotaping? You walking through the bush, me grunting behind you. Oh, there was just moose everywhere. Moose sign. Yeah. We saw a couple moose. Mm -hmm. But then we went up to another area of the quarter section and we saw all kinds of deer tracks, like a lot of deer tracks and highways. So we we formulated a orchestrated game plan for tomorrow morning. And with any luck, on the last day of the hunt, we'll get Otis. <laughs> Nice and warm. Ah. 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 This is the life. <laughs> yep. It is the life. Yep. So, how did it go today? Oh, not bad, not bad. You want to hear the story? Yep. yep. So, we set up on the cut line this morning. We got down there, we made a pile of noise getting in. Is this the cut line where you shot at the deer last year? Yeah. Okay. We made a pile of noise getting in. 
because we were dragging that sled down there. Yeah. And it kept on going over top of a like, frozen muskeg and making these scraping sounds. Mm-hmm. We were like, whatever, let's get stuff. So we got set up. Sat there for a while. Sat there till like, 11 o'clock, eh? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and didn't see a thing. It was set for a bunch of cows. There's cows down there. Same then, taste good. Yeah. But there was no... There wasn't really much for tracks, was there, crossing the cut line? No. And Probably so anything. We packed up everything and went back to the truck and then drove into the field and decided to go into the order and grunts and stuff mm-hmm. while we were walking. And we went in there and all we were seeing was moose sign everywhere. Like just and bump, and we bumped a couple of moose. So then we went and did our hunt in the evening. Didn't didn't see a thing except for that coyote. And then we came when we came back. Sure enough, we looked into that field as like right after dark, mm-hmm. and there was a whole bunch of deer in there, and there was two moose in there. One was a bull, and probably there was probably more was animals the bull, to come. Was was were the moose close to the tree line? Uh, they were kind of out in the middle of the field, but at this point, but I mean, they came off the border. 110%, didn't they? Yeah, totally. And they're going to be going back on the border, and there's more where they came from. Like, you wouldn't believe how many, how many fresh moose tracks and moose beds and everything we so saw. So tomorrow, are you taking your bow? Yeah. Think yeah. You're gonna... We're going to set up, getting that, they're probably going to spend the night in that feeding around that field, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then the plan will be for us to set up back on the moose corner when they hop the road, we'll be set up and waiting. Who's the day? We're talking moose or deer? Either or, they're both over there. So Doug's got a moose tag and deer tags. So we'll be set up. We know we found their highway in the snow that they're taking to get back to their bedding areas. So we'll just set up next to it and uh, intercept them, hopefully. November 12th. We're set up on Otis.
should we do? Should we sit here till dark? Yeah, I think we might as well keep hunting. See what happens. You got your answer. Are you videoing? Yep. It's, we can, up, it's up to you, or we can keep hunting if you want. No, let's go one drill and one still light out. Okay. Then we can get the video. Uh, video on one drill and one light. Okay. Assuming those are the same. Yeah. It looked like what two toes in a fawn, which is what we thought originally. Yeah.
improvement. Now, if that hook was up higher, I'd be able to get the deer even higher. But that should actually be a pretty good height, eh? Yeah. A little, little higher would just make it a little bit more comfortable. Like maybe six inches to a foot higher. Got it? Yeah. Okay, uh, I off. I think it locks actually to be honest with you. Oh yeah. It seems like it. Because there's no pull on this whatsoever. It's off the ground and everything. Look at that, eh? You happy with that? With what? The yeah, pulley? Just so yeah, where it works. Yeah. No, that's pretty sweet because like I, I would, I'd never be able to do that on my own. Right. So what are we doing today? Date today, the 21st. 21st of November. Now we're just going to be looking over this valley. Let's see if we can catch some movement here in the morning. Okay, there's a lake down there in the bottom. Let's see what happens. You can probably hear that from a long ways away. Yeah, I wonder what else can hear it. He's coming directly towards us, isn't he? Yeah. Man, this is a pretty cool spot, isn't it? Yeah. Seems like that 
that's where the action is. Man, it's so cool though to be able to like see see everything. Yeah. Clearly that's where they're crossing. I think that's the same buck. Yeah. I think he, he chased them that way. Then they all went back that way. And now he's following. Yeah. How far? How far? Right there. Is it a Yeah. Okay, I, just, I want it. I can't tell if it's a buck or if it's a muley or a white tail. Okay, it's a doe. That's probably 